Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly, and I'm once again playing the game Gone Home, and I will admit that I've been shying away from this game a little bit because it's so creepy to me. Like, something about being alone in an unfamiliar house where it's creaking and it's raining and thundering out, like, and there's like things, electronics have been left on and lights have been left on and everything is just like very eerie. It seems like people were there recently, but they're not there, so, like, you don't know if something's wrong. I mean, very clearly something is going wrong in this game, I just don't know what yet. And Morgan has been away for the past week at a friend's house, and, uh, I am home alone. So, because this game is me and a home alone, and because I am home alone, I am just absolutely terrified to play games like this right now. But we're going to go ahead, delve back in, find out if we can find out more about Sam, about the creaking up in the attic up above. Oh, what is that noise? Oh, that's just me walking around. It's like, oh god, I don't like that. I do not like that. Alright. Grab mom's purse? Sure. Ooh, nice taste, mom. Nice bag. Very nice. Uh, yeah, so... We've been finding little clues here and there. Uh, very clearly, it seems like Sam is a rebel. She's going through those rebellious teen years. Oh, boy. And, uh, oh! Oh, that's cool. Look at that. The rain's actually beating against the panes. I love that. Whoa. Mom left in a hurry, it looks like. There's all this stuff here. Ooh, some socks? Many, many socks? Okay. Uh, yeah, Sam was a rebel. Her parents and her didn't really get along. She made some friends. Uh, the friends might be more than friends. We're not 100% sure yet. Uh, I guess we're going to just find out. Oh, what's that? Oh, barf. Uh, oh, no. No, we found our parents' condoms. No. Oh, no. Now we have to think about them doing the nasty. Oh, no. Well, they clearly didn't take that. All right, yeah, let's turn on more lights. Let's grab the phone. Hello? Hi? Mom? Dad? Where are you? I need you. You're not here. Grab postcard. What's it say? Dear Mom and Dad and Sam, I am in the channel. Oh, this is uh, what I sent them, or the channel. This is my second passage through the channel. I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. I don't know if the channel's a real thing or if this is like an inside joke they had, maybe. I don't know. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. If all I wanted, uh, if you all wanted to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. So I sent this to them. Their new address. Grab this coaster. Nothing, nothing special about the coaster. Ah, uh, more holy bibbles. So many bibbles in this game. Business card. Unknown Dimension. Unknown Dimension Literature. Ah, this must be my dad's publisher. Or maybe this is, like, the publisher he was trying to be scouted by or something. Since last episode we found out that dad, you know, kind of kind of wasn't doing too great job-wise. He felt like a big old failure. Oh, God. Wardrobes. Scary times. Of course, nothing's on the tube. Just scary static. Oh, boy. That's fun. All right. Man, someone took all the electronics. What's going on in this place? Ah, oh, more taped movies. Excellent. More VHS movies. Ah, nothing there. I keep misclicking things that I don't want to click. All right, what's on this side of the room? Ooh, there's a letter. Pick up family photo. Ah, it's just like the painting, except there were baby babies in this one. Lovely family. Let's turn on more lights. The more lights we turn on, the better. Oh, God, look at this. This is like a big old master closet. Dear Jan, oh, honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had our own down periods. Oh. Ah, so this is to our mom. So apparently our mom is not feeling very well and was writing to her friend who was jealous about the house and everything like that. It's become a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other. Uh, you live your own lives in the same house. Oh. Oh, so this is about dad, most likely. This is about our dad and our mom not really having the spark between them anymore, I guess. They're just, like, sort of complacent with each other, but they're not really happy with each other. That's too bad. The kids grow up, they go away. I'm sorry this isn't helping, is it? Don't worry. Terry will get over whatever's distracting him. Things will go back to normal. 
And as for Sam being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, honestly, right now, Dad, well, Dad was going through some issues. Who knows if he was still going through work issues. He was having a hard time writing. He wasn't being published. And then Sam absolutely is a teenager. We've talked about that. She's very angsty, very stereotypical 90s teen. In the meantime, though, this controlled burn, that sounds like quite the adventure. But let's cut to the chase. This new ranger they sent, that's what I want to hear about. Ranger Rick? You have to be kidding me. It's too perfect. Yeah, what a name. You have to tell me everything and pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. <laughs> oh, so there's a hot new ranger that's working under Jan here. Uh-oh, hopefully only working under him, not other things under her. Oh, boy. Uh, keep your chin up until Terry is out of his slump. And in the meantime, write more letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. Love Carol. So Carol... Shut up, noises. Uh, Carol was having having a time, having some issues. So we got, ooh, another three-ring binder, a book. Walt Whitman, Leaves of Grass. Ah, Walt Whitman, old school stuff here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's with this bookmark here? Timberline Booksellers. Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands. Oh, no. So Rick lent his book to Jan, our mom. So there's like some hints that maybe she wasn't exactly loyal to dad, perhaps. Maybe dad was distant because maybe he wasn't being loyal to mom, though. We can't put it all on mom. Either way, there's some coldness. Ooh, some undies pants. Mittens. Kitten, uh, mitten. Our cat, Caitlin, age five. Oh, so cute. I love a good picture like that. So Mitten was like our old, old cat. Ooh, the master bathroom and the master, the master closet. That made a longer sliding noise than I thought it was going to. All right, grab this book. Watercolor technique for florals and still life. Okay, groovy. I don't know what any of this means. It just is very lived in. A ghost game. What the hell? Ghost mansion. Oh, God, that's creepy as shit, man. I like that. If I stand in the shadow, you can't read it, so you bring it into the light, and you can. That's such good effects. Avoid the ghosts of Ghost Mansion. Make your escape with wits intact. Ooh, the cowboy, the widow, the brother. The tabletop ghost game. Spooky shit. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't want to be a part of it. There's lots of ghost stuff in this house. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like it. It's called the Psycho House, either. Any hidden books here? Any secrets amongst the bookshelf? Right, I'm on to you, spooks. I'm here. I'm here to brush my hair. Yes, I am. I'm here to examine everything. Uh-huh. Okay. There's a box of band-aids. There's shaving cream, a toothbrush. Pretty typical stuff so far. So far, almost everything we found has been pretty mundane. I'm just waiting for things to go crazy bonkers bad. All right. Another... Ooh. Ooh, it's the bath and the, the entry to the bathroom. This is cool. Ugh, oh, it said. After the honeymoon, rediscovering your spouse personally, spiritually, sexually. Oh, man. Katie does not like that her parents were trying to, you know, reinvigorate the spark in the bedroom. I mean, I don't blame her. It's kind of funky. Kind of weird to find. Okay. I mean, everyone does. I mean, how do you think you got here, Katie? How do you think you got here? Your parents bumped the uglies, and then they made you, and they made Sam. They did it after you were born. That's what you should be more weirded out about. They did it even after you existed. So this is, once again, Sam's room. Ooh, Sam has a note. Hey, Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? Hell yeah, Pulp Fiction. It came out last weekend, and Todd won't shut up about it. So either it's good, or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change. But I can just ditch out on it, probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? Oh, she doesn't do well with violence, huh? According to Todd, it is pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle. Oh, I hate... That is my least favorite part about that whole movie. It's really cool. I, I watched this behind-the-scenes thing about Pulp Fiction that explained how they did that effect. 
but god, I hate watching it. It's really just, ugh. I already hate needles as is, but that scene is just, like, above and beyond, ugh. Uh, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. <laughs> Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay, don't barf. Haha, <laughs> all right, see you then. And then a barfing cheeseburger. What a great movie. Love that movie. Good stuff. Good references in this game so far. Another bathroom. We must have shared this with Sammy Sam. All right. Sam, what'd you do in the... Uh, what the fuck? That's blood, isn't it? Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. Red right hand. Oh, my gosh. So, game's trying to psych me out. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. Oh, making me think that she someone said, I need to fix did these roots. something think you could help. Oof. Dying hair is weirdly intimate. It is. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? Yeah, pretty intimate. It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and... I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited. And the moment was gone. Aw. So, there it is again. So last episode, I was predicting that they were going to become more than friends and that there was actually more of a relationship going on. So on top of already being super hormonal and confused because Sam was a teenager, she also had to deal with these feelings for another girl when her parents, obviously, with all the Bibles and everything, or at least one of her parents, they're pretty traditional, they're pretty religious, they'd definitely be against that type of relationship. So there's the breadcrumbs being spread around in this game. I also noticed that these are tampons. So tampons, obviously, once again, just proving that Sam was going through a really weird, very exclusively teenager part of her life where you, like, first discover that your body's doing all these things, and it gets very, very bizarre, and it's very hard to deal with. So, it'd be, like, because obviously, like, as you become an adult, you get more used to it. It's not as strange. But when you're a kid and you're dealing with that stuff, it gets rough. This does not look like a nice hallway. What is happening here? And there's a note. Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm so worried. So, it's like I said... There's all these hints that something horrible happened. I don't know if it means that if we, like, go up to the attic, we're going to find something bad. Or if they ran away. Or, like, she ran away. Or she is dead somewhere. Or if Lonnie's dead somewhere. Eh, regardless of what happens. Not a big fan of any of this. Not a fan at all, in fact. Right, all these boxes. So they were packing up all the boxes to go. Packing up all the boxes to leave. Another note here. Hey, Sam. You're asking what my... F uh, what? Something... What my something ribbons meant. Here is a handy guide. Oh, uh, ROTC ribbons. Got it. Okay. So, J-R-O-T-C. Uh, orienteering. Uh, this means the army thinks I can find my way around. Uh, rifle team, the army has branded me as a certified killing machine, adventure training, I'm a born adventurer, and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this, so if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. So Lonnie was part of the JROTC program. Cool, so she was really just a punky badass chick. Alright, we got this composition notebook by Samantha Greenbrier, Ghost Hunter Journal. Oh man, sighting journal. Why are there all this ghost stuff? I don't like it. Tall shadow upstairs hall. When I run in the corner, no one was there. I've already thought that I've seen shadows and creepy shit in this house. I don't want to have to read about it and know that this is what's going to happen. I'll tell his Uncle Oscar. No, I was not wearing my glasses. Oh, okay. Faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. Uh, poured milk from a carton in the fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour your milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Ooh. Also, ghost milk. Ooh, spooky ghost milk. 
Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. I build a protective pillow for it. Yeah, we came across that. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium to serving messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Oh, boy. This is Lonnie to stay up all night. Help patrol uh, premises. Recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remain unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in attic. Uh, probably leaky roof. <laughs> Sample taken just in case. Successful night. All right, great. Great. And by great, I mean horrible and fucking awful. I hate that. I don't... I don't need any of that in my life. I don't need ghosts. I'm going to leave that spare room. We are going to pretend we didn't read about our sister thinking there were ghosts in here, too. In the psycho house. In the house where our Uncle Oscar apparently went bonkers bananas. Don't like it. Not one bit. What's on the easel? It's going to be scary. No, it's beautiful. Oh, it's a still life photo. Or painting, I mean. That's gorgeous. Whoever was working on that, great job. You you done did good. There's another cassette player, meaning we'll probably find a cassette. There's a forum. Performance evaluation. Richard, ah, this is for Ranger Rick. Jan gave him fives across the board. Ranger Pattermock has been indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn preparation and execution. Because she was overseeing the operation, it said last episode that she could choose people to stay as a permanent member of her team and get transferred there. So maybe she's trying to get rich to get a little bit closer. I believe his expertise and dedication has been the deciding factor in the success of a very complex and challenging conservation effort. And he's lending her books, and she's writing about him to her friend Carol. Clearly something's going on here a little bit. On the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contributions to daily operations become essential to the outfit's continuing success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. And it's because her and Dad, they're not able to get that spark going. And in the bedroom, Dad's been distant. Sam's been distant. Mom probably feels like all hope is lost in her family life. She goes, what's the point? What's the purpose? And all that bad stuff is happening. So she... Kind of wants a little bit of a piece of action from Mr. Rick Boy. What's this tape? Heavens to Betsy. Nothing can stop me. Oh, more mixtape times. Let's put it in here. Yeah. Time for some good tunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, horrible. <laughs> ah! What? Oh, yeah. Banging our heads. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, great song. You guys are going to make it. All right, let's read this note. Halloween show, the misfits. They're awesome. Don't forget your costumes. Did you in lounge? Awesome. Cool. Sometimes you just have to lie to, lie to mom, to and, mom and, dad. and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. I mean... But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together to like one huge tide of sound. <laughs> Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I love live shows. I was so sure happy. That. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. Aw, cute. I think she could tell. She could tell that you guys were going to... Do things together that mom and dad wouldn't approve of. That's okay, sis. I won't tattle on you. This room is weird. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. This is the healthy choices skills for a helpful life. Ooh, it's so good. Open the full there. Examine the map. Lonnie, holy crap. I was in the library. I noticed something in the corner. I found a secret. Oh, passage. I had Oscar's Creepfield stuff in it. Oh my god, I have got to see this. We're skipping six. Whoa, so in mom and dad's room by the bathroom in the closet, there's a freaking secret passage to the library? What? Okay, I have to look at my map. I have to, to pull that up right now. All right. Whoa. So there is secret, creepy, weird shit in this house. Why? All right, that's just the case to the tape. We've already listened to the music. We've already listened to the sweet tunes. Ew! Oh, it's a costume. It's like, what? So they were going to go as 
Captain Allegro and the first mate. Your costume, my costume. Aww. Oh, that's actually so wholesome and cute. I love that. So Lonnie found out about all the drawings of, like, Captain Allegra, which is, you know, Sam's character she's had since she was a kid, and the first mate, and how they had sort of like a, you know, a, a nice close relationship, and they wanted to dress as, the, as for Halloween. That's so wholesome. I like that. That's a supportive girlfriend if they ended up dating. That is a supportive girlfriend if I've ever heard of one. All right, we got these goddamn Stranger Things lights around this attic door. Oh, God, thank goodness it's locked. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. Not sure I like that, because that's where all the creaking's coming from, and that's where the red lights are. Not cool. Not cool at all. All right, let's go into the creepy Uncle Oscar passage, I guess. Not cool at all. What? No. Oh boy, howdy. Oh boy, howdy. Okay, I pulled the string. Examine the map. Ghost Hunters, oh no. No, I don't wanna be in Uncle Oscar's creepy shit if there's Ghost Hunters. Hidden compartments found three. Whoa, okay. They're all over the place, that's kind of dope. Look at all this stuff on the wall though. Oh God, Uncle Oscar, why were you weird, dude? You chill with the weirdness? Open the panel. Is this ah, to the library where we've been? We've hung out before. We've seen some cool stuff before. All right, well. Groovy. I guess now we have to pull up our big old map. And we're going to find some more panels, right? That's what it said. So, find more panels. So, Dad's office, there's a, there's a secret panel. Where was it? It said it was out in the hall here. So, it's going to... Oh, I think I see it. Yep. Who's panel number one? Let's read the story. Private, do not read heaven at the end of the world. The green... Glacier part two. Oh, this is part two. I guess we gotta go find part one at some point. Allegra and her scouting party peered down warily and through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch. All right, so this is another one of these stories. If you guys want to read these, by the way, you can just pause the video, read through them. I'm just gonna. Ah, I see, I see, I see. All this stuff is happening. Uh huh. Just like the first mates. The figure stood, and Allegra saw the first mate had changed. She was no longer a man at all. In fact, uh, looked back uh, at her with the eyes, the face, the hair, the hands of a woman still in the first mate's clothes. Still the first mate. He, she spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain? She's one of us now. She is ours. Oh, weird. So the first mate in this story was a girl, or was a guy who turned into a woman. So that's very interesting. And maybe this was a way for Sam to work through her feelings. Because obviously, in a religious household, she was probably told... Having a relationship with another woman would be wrong. So to sort of justify that, she's like, Lonnie's more kind of like a guy, so it's okay. So maybe. So 51. This is, uh, wait. Uh, turn right three times, stop at the full turn, press first, up number. So that's the half of Sam's locker combo added. Nice. Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. So we found some locker stuff. All right, so we can go back in here, though. Find another, I'm assuming probably another part of the story. This is so interesting. Another secret panel here. And go find it. Where are you, secret panel? There's one. Ba boom. The flyer for the misfits. So she was hiding stuff all over the house to be like, yo, mom and dad the can't Tots find it. The brother's place after the show. There was only a futon to sleep yeah. on, so Lonnie and I shared it. Ooh. Uh -oh. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me Ooh, too. Romantic and kind of cute. In the dark, she smiled. Ah. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous. After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, "I really like you." Aww. I just nodded my head a and romance. I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. 
Aww. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Me too. I hope nothing horrible has happened to either of you because this is very wholesome and I like that a lot. And I don't want you to be sad pants. I don't want either of you to be sad pants. Alright, so we found... What else did we find? I think, uh... I think that's it. Alright, so that's it. That's all we can find. We gotta go back to the secret passage and see what those, uh, those notes said again. Because I can't remember now. I can't remember. I closed it because I didn't like how the wall was gaping open like that. It was very creepy. Very creepsville. Now, I wonder if... If, even if I hadn't read the notes, if I would have been able to find this stuff. Alright, my room. So across from her room, there's another secret passage. So library, the upstairs hall, and the foyer. Search continues. Okay, so we could go in the foyer, and we could go to Sam's room, and we can find more cool stuff. Alright, let's do that. Let's find more secret panels. I like this game so much. It's very, very cool. I wonder if this one out here in the hall counted as the foyer one. It may have, uh, I, because it only marked three locations, but I might as well check everywhere, just in case all these panels, all of them sort of look a little precarious. They look a little bit strange. They look like I could just yank them right off the wall. Man, oh man, this house has so many secrets. It's so creepy. There's a weird history to it all. Everything is very strange in this home. And there's no, uh, is there a key for this yet? No, no key for that yet. Oh, darn. All right, well, I guess that means that I have to, because that's, like, what, down in the basement, right? I don't want, I don't want to go down in the basement yet anyway. Go back to Sam's room, and we'll find the last hidden panel. It's got to be up here. It said so on the map. So there we go. Yeah, Sam's room. Uh, or is it over here? Oh, it's across the hall here. So it's in here? In the bathroom? Or where? Like what? I'm not 100% sure. The map says it's like out here. Ah, there it is. Ha 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 ha. Thought you could trick me, game. Ah, here's the combo. Okay, to open. Zero. So this is the first half of the combo. Nice. And then here's the, oh god, a Ouija board. Don't be messing with that junk. Hello, who are you, Oscar? What do you want to come back? Oh, fudge, dude. Ah, oh, don't tell me these things. So that was 0, 1, 5, 1, I think. This is the combo. 0, 5, 0, 1. 0, 5, 0, 1. There we go. Ah, ha, ha. So that's, oh, that's Lonnie. Hi, Lonnie. How you doing? Lonnie came over today. But everything was different. Uh-oh. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think. But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. Oh, that's sad. I felt like I was gonna cry, but Neither I wasn't sad. Neither of them sad. can say what they want to say. That she they got up and other. sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think... You... Could ever... Oh. Get into a relationship. And that's when she kissed me. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> that's adorable, though. It's actually adorable. And here's the key to the basement. I don't want to go to the basement. Looks like Sam was sneaking some smokes. And then, oh. <laughs> so Sam stole some of Dad's uh, magazines for men. Because she was really into girls. So that makes a lot of sense now. There's nothing wrong added to backpack. Yes, yes, there was nothing wrong with that. So this key means that I go down to the basement now, which I don't want to do. But we did manage to find all the hidden panels. We managed to find a bunch of cool, creepy ghost stuff. And I think 
that that is probably where our adventure today is going to end. I am not going to go down to the basement yet, guys. I am going to use the key, though. I am going to use that. The tag says basement. So why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? Do I have to... Huh. That's weird. I thought that was the basement. Maybe the basement is elsewhere. Oh, the basement's this way. All right, well, I still am going to end this episode here, guys. I'll line myself up with the basement, so ready to go. I remember what to do when we start the next episode. Before we do it, I'm not going to go down in the creepy basement right now. I think we've done a lot of exploring. We've done a lot of uncovering. We clearly, I was correct. I was able to figure out exactly what was going on with these two. And I'm very, very excited to find out what's happening in this game. It's creepy as heck. It's definitely getting to me a little bit. But what a good game. It's telling this great little narrative that's very human underneath all this creepy stuff. Uh, the atmosphere and the environments are very well done. Uh, they don't really line up very much. But like I said, I think it's this slow burn thing going on where it's building up this sense of dread. So that at some point, eventually what's going to happen is we're going to get to a very tragic ending. But maybe not. Maybe we find out something great at the end and it's just trying to psych us out. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye.